Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am trying out for the very first time Nomad Cosmetics. Nomad Cosmetics, if you don't know, which I didn't know for a while, is an indie brand. Their whole deal is about exploring different parts of the world and bringing that to you through an eyeshadow palette, like their interpretation of what that part of the world is through an eyeshadow palette. So this, this one is all about Ireland. It is called the Ireland Wild Atlantic Way, and it is such a gorgeous palette. Um, I, I'm stunned, honestly, by just the color story, and it was just very exciting for me to finally try out this brand. I do actually own another palette by them, but I haven't tried it yet. And so today I am doing a first impressions with all of you. Don't do those often, but I'm really excited about this one today. So if you would like to see more about this palette, hear more about my thoughts on this brand, and see how I got this look, please keep watching. All right, so because I have not tried Nomad Cosmetics before and I have all of this on my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and powder under my eyes just to make sure that I don't get any fallout. I've already added powder, but I'm just gonna add some extra powder. This is just gonna make sure that we're super safe. Um, if you're ever doing a look and you're not sure how it's going to go with that deeper shade or with the whatever palette you're using, you can just pop some loose powder underneath and it should catch it and then when you're done you can wipe it away and you don't have to worry about having ruined your base makeup. To prime my lids, I am just going to be going in with the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Nudes. I use the shade Nude 5. And I'm also actually going to mix in a little bit of the P. Louise base. I'm very excited about trying out this palette. I only recently learned about Nomad Cosmetics, and I'm saying like within the last few months, really. I feel like I learned about them maybe over summertime or like sometime in like fall-ish. And I've been really intrigued and just kind of keeping an eye. And I have one palette from them. It is the Verona palette, but I haven't actually used it yet. So this is really exciting for me to try it out finally. So I am going to take this shade Emerald Isle, which is this really pretty like blue-green shade right here, and I'm gonna pop that in the outer corners. I will say there is a little bit of kickback in the palette that is telling me that these are super pigmented, oh my goodness. Also, if you all hear anything, I got dogs, I have, things happening around the house. So you might hear a little bit of noise in the background, but hopefully not too much. Wow, this is pig, I wasn't expecting this much pigment, okay. Even when I swatched it, like the way the brush picks it up is just, wow, okay. So I am going to just start blending this in. Ooh, that's pretty. I genuinely, I probably do somewhere in my collection, but I, I really am like struggling to think of like where in my collection I have this exact shade of shadow. It's so unique and it's so pretty. Okay, so that was so easy to blend. I'm kind of blown away. It's so pretty and I feel like it still maintained its color. It didn't blend and I definitely can deepen it up. I'm going to go back and deepen it up in a little, but first I do want to just add in a little bit more pigment and color. I'm actually thinking about taking the shade Wild Atlantic Way. When I swatched it, it's kind of like almost a khaki green, but a little bit more like of a pale green. But I just feel like it's going to blend out really nicely with this. I have never been to Ireland, but I really want to go. And I, I've i only heard wonderful things <laughs> about it um, and about the people there and food and just everything. And I, I don't know, this palette, I guess that's kind of the idea, right? Is that you get these palettes and you feel transported to the place. And I know that Ireland isn't just, you know, green. They're a bunch of beautiful colors. And I feel like this does a good job of picking up some of those other beautiful colors and tones. Speaking of, these colors are blending together gorgeously. But I just really want to go to Ireland. And when I see things like this that are so inspired by such a gorgeous place it just makes me want to go even more like i want to see all of the things that are mentioned in this palette i want to start just kind of smoking that out a bit i will say i mean i do have powder down but i'm not feeling like there's a whole bunch of uh, fallout 
as of yet on my face for as uh, pigmented as these shadows are, which is really nice. I want to deepen up this green a bit, this first Emerald Isle shade that we went in with, that like blue green. So I am just going to deepen that up a bit more. Oh, it's, it's so pretty. You know what's funny is that a few years ago, I probably would have been terrified to own this palette, um, to use it because colors like this, like blues and greens, they really scared me. I kind of stuck with like neutrals and I would play around with bolts, but anything that had like a bluish tone to it, like this green here, really, really terrified me. And I just didn't know how to work with it. And I have to say like, one of the beautiful things about really anything in life, but especially makeup, is that when you practice it and just give yourself time and patience and grace to not be perfect at it and then just kind of work your way into getting better at it, it's kind of amazing the journey you go on and where you might end up because who would have thought I would have like been salivating over <laughs> a shadow this shade when it really used to scare me because I felt like... It, I mean, let's be honest, when you have blues and things and greens, even sometimes you can get carried away a bit and it can be really intimidating to play with these types of tones. And I just feel like this is, this is kind of exciting for me. And I have done other green looks, like I've definitely, you know, defeated my fears a while back, but it just kind of reminded me. I've been feeling very nostalgic today about kind of when I first really, really fell in love with makeup and just sitting in my bedroom trying to trying to see what I could create or recreate and it's just funny how far things you know have come how much things have changed I keep going in with more of this emerald isle shade isle shade but it is so freaking pretty that I just want more of it so I'm thinking I'm actually going to take it a little bit lower on the lash line a little bit in, in and just like see see what I can create. It's just so pretty. I am like genuinely blown away. I've never tried this brand before, but my first impressions so far are all already like, wow, this is gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna pick up on a brush. I'm trying to decide which shade I wanna go in with. All right, so I'm going in with this very gorgeous green shade. This is, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Duit. D-I-A-D-H-U-I-T. Not sure how to pronounce it, I apologize. It definitely looks like it is in traditional tongue. Um, so I'm gonna go in with this. It is a gorgeous like duochrome. It is gold and green. And then I'm also going to go in towards the inner corner with Savage Beauty. This just reminds me of like an old like silvery coin, but there's like something like a little warmer in there and it looks so pretty. I haven't wet my brush. I am just going in directly with this shade. I genuinely, I, I don't react like this often <laughs> with eyeshadows, but I was not expecting, even with swatching, I was not expecting that payoff with just a, a dry brush, I have to say. Oh my goodness, this is, I don't think I need to wet my brush. I kind of want to, but I don't think I need to. This is insane payoff. Are you kidding me? Okay. Cool. Cool, no man. It's fine. It's fine. It's blow my mind. Okay. Wow. Am I going to wear like exclusively green looks for the next two weeks? <laughs> because, oh my god, this is stunning. Oh my goodness. I can't speak to what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Your girl is pleasantly surprised, let me say that. Let me say that. I have heard them say, indie brands are really out here doing the thing. Nomad Cosmetics is really out here doing the thing. I didn't doubt it, I didn't doubt it. But the formula of these shadows, like really good. Better than some things that I've paid much more money for. And I'm really, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
All right, then. I'm, I'm just like a little lost, but I'm looking for another brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Savage Beauty. This gorgeous, like, is it like a pewter? I feel like I wanna say pewter almost, but it's not quite, I don't know, It's but it's beautiful. Also, the only thing that sucks is that all of the like little embossments are gone now. I mean, like once you use it, they kind of disappear, but I have pictures, <laughs> I have pictures to remember. All right, I'm gonna take this shade and do this. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. I'm here for that very much. So, wow. I mean, my goodness. And to think I was, I was still stuck on the mats. I was still stuck on like one matte shade that I couldn't put down and now I'm here and I'm like okay I'm not gonna lie this is green and I love the color green but I know for a fact there's a whole bunch of like pinks and purples and that Verona palette that I haven't tried yet and um, pink is my favorite color and doing pink and purple eye looks are my favorite eye looks to do I, let me go put that palette on next. Are you kidding me? Let me find out. Let me find out. I've been missing out on something. Do we do we see what I see? Do you see what I see? Okay, I'm gonna take that emerald aisle again, that matte shade that I've been obsessed with. And I just wanna I just wanna do a little little smudgy smudge. A little smudgy smudge on the end. Just to Blend it beautifully because that's what it does. It blends so effortlessly and beautifully. This is so good. This is such a good eye. I really like, I'm really happy. I have not been like this excited about the performance of an eyeshadow palette in a hot minute. Like, that's, this is taking me back to when I would, like, I have not gotten, gotten this excited about eyeshadow in a minute. And it's really quite wonderful to experience it honestly i feel like I feel like i've liked stuff and i've been like oh this is nice but i i haven't felt this level of like wow this is something really special and amazing in this capacity in a very long time this is kind of amazing like truly truly amazing Okay, I don't think I need to like do anything else with this eye. This, uh, I'm sorry if you just hear me dropping my brushes as I completely like become obsessed with this, but it is so stunning. It's so pretty. I wish it has like a green liner or something. I don't. I do feel the need to put like a, I mean, I could just line this, which maybe I will do. Let me just see. Let's just see what happens if we take a little bit of that and just do like maybe even a deeper, Let's do the Emerald Isle shade. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We're gonna do Emerald Isle again. And I'm just gonna do a little line, not so much a wing, but I do wanna just line um, my, my eye a bit, just to give it some more shape. I am gonna probably go in with a little bit of a black too, but ugh, yes. I have to say it's not, it's not normal for me that in a palette full of like mixed all right, I got fallout all over my face. <laughs> I have fallout literally all over my face. Um, I will be mad about it if I can't get it off of my face because I did not powder my nose. I didn't think I needed to, but of course my nose decided to show up to the party. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but like I said, I just, I think that this is my favorite shade in the palette, this gorgeous like blue green. And it's very rare in a shallot, a shallot. I need to calm down. It's very rare in a palette that has like a mix of textures that I think that the matte is my favorite over a shimmer and the shimmers are stunning. So it's not anything against the shimmers. It's just, I am in love with these matte shades. So the next time I use this palette, I definitely would not use it last. I would definitely use it first which is what I typically do anyway, but I'm double filming. So I'm just very quickly repowdering this area with my face powder just to see if I can kind of, yeah, that did, that helped a little bit. 
It was, it's not, like I said, it's not like the end of the world. It's not like the end of the world. <laughs> We're good. All right, I'm gonna pop some lashes on and finish up this look and then I will be right back. Okay, and this is the completed look. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm in love. I think this is a stunning, gorgeous palette. Like, I love everything about it. First of all, the packaging is this stunning green shade. Um, it's like a very, like, velvety, soft texture on the outside. And then when you open it, you have, of course, this absolutely gorgeous color story that just speaks to me. There are so many options and looks. I will say, yes, it is a lot of green, but I feel like the greens are varied enough. There are two shades that when I swatched it on my arm, I was like, mm, these are pretty much the same shade, just one's like a hair deeper. And that would be the shade um, Blarney Stone and the shade, I think it was the shade Blarney Stone and the shade Croc, Croc Patrick, I think is how you say that, down here at the bottom. Those two shades to me, were very similar in tone, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but I think even still, you know, some people like to have something that's just a little bit deeper and it could come in handy. Um, I will say I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I feel like it just blends so easily. The mattes are super creamy, super pigmented, super easy to work with. And the shimmers are just stunning. Like the formula of them are just stunning. The palette is not super hard pressed, so you do get a lot of kickback in the palette, but you also get a lot of color payoff on your eyes, and I think that is what makes it worth it. I would just maybe not put down your base makeup before you do your eyeshadow look, so that it's just kind of, is a little bit easier to work with in that regard. But there's, like, there's, everything is just so beautiful. I am in love with this formula. I'm so excited to explore the other palettes that they have and see if this formula is across the palettes and see how it pays off. And I am so inspired. Like I'm looking at different color families and just the way this palette is laid out, it makes it so easy to try and make different types of looks. So I can't wait to do another look with this palette. Definitely keep an eye out because I probably, if I don't do a dedicated video on here, I will probably post a picture or a reel over my Instagram or TikTok. So definitely keep an eye on all of that. But yeah, this has been quite the successful first impressions. I'm so excited. Um, and I can't wait to try out more from Nomad Cosmetics. If you are a Nomad Cosmetics fan or just an indie palette brand, that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> or just an indie brand fan at all, please just let me know other suggestions of brands that I should be checking out. I have a video coming where I'm trying out Ensley Rain. And I actually just placed an order for the new Manny MUA palette um, from Lunar Beauty. It's my very first time trying out both of those brands. So I'm trying to make my way around and see like what's going on out here in the indie makeup world. So please leave me some more suggestions, not even just for eyeshadow palettes, for just different indie products you might like. And let me see if that's something that I might be interested in. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it and you wanna join the community here, make sure to subscribe down below, comment on the video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye my loves.